Hello friends, in our new lesson we're going to study on linked genes and or linkage, chromosome mapping. The farther apart two genes are located on a chromosome, the more likely a crossing over occur. Crossing over what we remember from the chapter one in meiosis which happened in prophase one of meiosis one. It's exchanging of gene locations between two non-sister chromatids. About the chromosome mapping, we know map is a diagram which show the location of something which already exists on a paper. So the chromosome mapping, we show this a mapping or a diagram which show the location of genes on the chromosomes. So the farther apart two genes, how two genes are far away from one another on same chromosome, it's likely or there's a probability to separate one from another during crossing over. The greater the percentage of F2 offspring showing the recombinant traits, so more new types of organism or genetic diversities can be seen in F2 generations. The farther apart the genes for those traits must lie on the chromosome. Researchers conduct breeding experiments and use the resulting data to prepare a chromosome map. A chromosome map is a diagram that shows the linear order of genes on a chromosome. So Alfred H. Sturtevant, one of the Morgan students, we remember Morgan who first time studied on the trait about the eye color which linked to X chromosome in Drosophila melanogaster made the first chromosome map for flies, shown in the figure on page uh, which we study on. To prepare his map start when compared the frequency of crossing over for several genes, how frequency of sequence, so how the crossing over or in crossing over the genes are changed their location means they are far away from one another. The percentage of crossing over for two traits is proportional to the distance between them on a chromosome. So how their distance is more probability to be separated by crossing over is more. Sturtevant so defined one map unit as a frequency of crossing over of by what? One percent. Linkage and genetic crossing over. Linkage is a case of availability of two or more non-allele genes. We know allele genes, we sure they are located on two separated chromosomes, but linkage about the chromosome which located, about the genes which located on same chromosome. So availability of two or more non-allele genes which tend to inherit with each other. Like what? For pea plant, for example, the color of flower and the length of plant located on same chromosome, simply draw chromosome, for example, length and what? Color of flower. Because these two traits located on same chromosome, they are linked genes. So any gamete receive this chromosome, receive this both traits together, so which inherit with each other. The linked gene has got its location on the same chromosome as we draw. It doesn't distribute freely, like free distribution law of Mendel, but it can separate from each other by crossing over, which happens through prophase one stage in first meiosis, which two homologous chromosome exchange some parts, including the molecule of DNA, another definition for crossing over. This exchange happens between two non-sister chromatids for that identical pair of chromosomes. It does not produce new gene, does not remove all genes, but rearrange the alleles in one of the sexes or in both, in male or in female during gamete formation. 
by crossing over, for example, if this is red color, can be exchanged with another chromosome, which is white color. So long and red together. If on another chromosome, short and, for example, white together. But as a result of crossing over, the two chromosomes can exchange parts as a result of crossing over can be short and red and on this side long and white. So this new form which are changed the gene location we call them recombinants because the combination of traits are changed. So the number of genes same, not increase, not to decrease, but what happened? Only rearrange it. Discovering the phenomenon of crossing over by scientist Morgan helped in explaining the result of many traits which has heredity procedure different than Mendel's uh, ratio. As we know that this Mendel ratio applies to the traits which is gene located on different chromosome. So each trait which Mendel studied on located on a different chromosome. So it have to be like this for what? For free distribution law. Why? Because the trait which located on same chromosome, they are linked and they are not free, not independent one from another. So all Mendelian traits, they located on different chromosomes. That's why it's distributed freely at gamete formation. But when these genes are located on the same chromosomes, means they are linked, its behavior change. So it does not distribute equally to the gametes. Why? Because red and long always move together. White and short together, if they located on same chromosome, when on in the case of crossing over, they can separate. Then we get different phenotypic ratio to one we got in test cross in the hybrid cross. So in this case, we got two big ones are the product of unidiparent gametes and two small ones are the product of recombinations. Recombinations, the organism which is formed by from or contain the genes which are exchanged by crossing over. We get the values of crossing over as follows. The value of crossing, total number of organisms, like how many organisms crossed as a result, for example, four or eight or 16. The number of recombinations, number of recombinations, how many of organisms in F generation contain the genes which uh, crossing over take place. So the product will be the percentage of crossing over, like eight organisms formed, but from this eight only one of them. For example, long and red together, short and white. So these two link it to one another. But one of organism we see with long and white. So this organism is recombinant from how many? One from eight. So the percentage about 12.5 percentage of crossing over. Map unit or centimorgan unit use it to measure the distance between the genes on the chromosome as we use the meter or kilometer to measure the distance between two places. So the map of centimorgan is a unit used to measure the distance between genes on the chromosome. And each of them represent the value 1% from the crossing over. How we say the distance increase, crossing over possibility increase between two genes. The amount of crossing or the screen recombination proportional with the distance between two certain genes on the chromosome. So if this distance gets bigger, then the possibility of crossing is getting bigger. The genes which are closer to each other on the same chromosome are hardly connected to each other 
This notice was developed by a scientist Morgan, which led him to put the theory of longitudinal order of the genes on the chromosome, which led them to put the genetic maps for the chromosomes. Because we saw genetic maps, is a diagram we showed the, on the linear shape, so the position of genes on the chromosome. Also notice the map of the genes for the chromosome X in human. This was put by using some new techniques. The percentage of crossing between the genes is affected by many genetic environmental factors such as chromosomal mutation, what we study in next lessons, like inversion, a part of chromosome broke, inverse and placed in location again, so the, again the arrangement is changed. Also chemical mutations, some chemicals which cause changes in the structure of DNA and selection and sex, X or Y chromosome, or age of organism, temperature of environment, or X-ray also which cause the changes in or damage in, but genotype. So cause mutation. So mutation also like crossing over for cause what? Appearance of new phenotypes. Example for linkage genetic crossing when crossing the plant of sweet peas with the purple flower, capital P, and the long pollen, capital L, with sweet peas with red flower, small p, and round pollen, small l, all the members of first generation were plants with purple flowers and long pollen. Some is the purple and long is dominant. This result seems normal because, as we know, that the traits of purple color and low pollen are dominant on the traits of red color and round pollen. But the ratio of the second generation is not identical with the phenotypic ratio, which is 9331 in Mendel, is in the hybrid. Also, when using test crossing, we don't get the phenotypic ratio as in Mendel, which is 111. That means the two above genes are linked. Why? Because the result which is in different from Mendel means the process also is different. So they explain it by what? By linkage. In this case, can draw the two genes on the chromosome to recognize them from the Mendel's genes, which is each of them is located on a different chromosome as follows. So red flower, red Use it small p, long for the for purple capital P, long capital L, and round small l. But this line which located under the small p and small l show that this two factors located on same chromosome to show their linkage. Small p and small l also, this line show they are linked, located on the same chromosome. So this one and two, but both of them pure, produce one kind of gamete. On the side, again, pure, all of them produce one kind of gamete, but the capital P, capital L together, small p, small l together, not separate because they're located on same chromosomes. But in second case, again, pure produce one, but we look at the second trait, it's hybrid. Hybrid normally produce what? P and L not separate can produce only P, L, or small p, small l, two kind of gametes. But if crossing over happen, four types of gamete can be formed, like what, like in Mendel. So its second part, it show the probability of crossing over. If crossing over not happen, only two kind of gametes can be formed. But if crossing over happen, we write the gametes like what, like in Mendel. And then by fertilization between male, male and female, this kind of organism form it. But as we give attention to small writing, more plants because linkage, less plant because crossings. So the number of organisms which form it, or recombinant organisms, 
or organs which carry the genes which are exchanged by crossing over is less, but normal organism, they are more. The above explain the different type of zygote, PLPL. So we said this lines mean what? To show the two genes are located on the same chromosome, capital P, capital L, with small p, small l. Didn't produce the expected gametes in the equal ratio. It produced parents, gametes, capital B, capital, and small p, small l, by high ratio from the produced gametes of cro crossing small p, capital, capital P, small l that the last one gave less number of individuals. The linkage always tends to keep the parental combinations for the genes by fixed ratio, nearly for any two linked genes. As we remember from the first chapter, the aim of crossing over is genetical diversity, but the number of organisms which suffer or affected by crossing over is less but normal organisms are more. Cytoplasmic inheritance, all the genetic information is coded in the molecules of DNA, which is available in the chromosome in eukaryotic organisms. According to this, can predict the inherited the trace in the families by knowing the behavior of chromosome during the cell division. But the DNA is not only available in the chromosomes. It is also discovered in mitochondria, green plastidness, chloroplasts, base body for flagella, which is kinetosome, and that was in the beginning of 60s. The discovery explains some aspects of cytoplasmic inheritance, external nuclear inheritance, which located out of nucleus, which is non-Mendelian inheritance, because one Mendelian study on only about the chromosomes which located in nucleus. It includes transferring the genetic information through auto-multiply for cytoplasm organelles such as mitochondria, green plastids, and others. The molecule of cytoplasm, DNA, show us clear difference in nucleotide sequence from the nucleus in DNA. Means the genetic material in mitochondria or in green plastids is different from the genetic material in nucleus. So it's divested of protein, same as in the molecule of DNA in prokaryotes like bacteria, virus. The multiplying of molecule of DNA for cytoplasmic organ is similar to multiplying in prokaryotes. So how the genetic material in prokaryotic organism is multiplied in a similar way in mitochondria or chloroplast. The study showed this ability due to genetic expression. So in cytoplasmic inheritance, about what? Not about the genetic material which located in nucleus, but about the genetic material out of nucleus in cytoplasm or in some organelles. Example for cytoplasmic inheritance is kappa particles in paramecium. Some descent of paramecium in some type subspecies of paramecium, like Aurelia, has the ability to secrete poison which is distributed in water media and it's called paramecin, name of chemical substance. It killed a member of other descents, other subspecies of paramecium which belong to the same type when they are present in the same media. It explodes the food vacuoles of organism for the sensitive paramecium which swallows it. So it means the organism which is affected by, we call it sensitive paramecium. The paramecium who produces this poison is also called what? Killer. The paramecium who, paramecium who dies because of is called sensitive. In the cytoplasm of killer paramecium, it's be found that the small particles called kappa particles found, so they are killer, which is similar to bacteria. It may contain a certain swallowed viruses. Yeah, a kind of organism which produce or make a kind of poison. 
So when this poison entered the paramecium, if it is sensitive under the food vacuole, food vacuole explodes that organism, die. So dead organism sensitive, and which secrete this material is killer. One of the theory points out that this virus is reproduced through the multiplying, as we remember from chapter three, light like glycogenic cycle, then they produce poison which are released to kill the sensitive chains. Kappa particles contain DNA and protein. Each paramecium cell contains 100 to 200 particles. It present in the cell permanently, depends on a dominant nuclei, allele, capital K. So the rule is for killer, only if they have this capital K or capital a dominant allele, they can keep this kappa particles in their cytoplasm. The paramecium will be killer when it contains kappa particle and the dominant allele K. So if kappa particles and dominant K together found in same organism, they can be killer, but this K not important, it is pure or hybrid but it will be sensitive when, when the genes are recessive. Even if it contains kappa particles, it cannot keep them, so it loses them after a few divisions. When the gene is pure and the dominant or hybrid, that's in the case of kappa particles not present, so the dominant K cannot produce bacteria kappa only when there is a little part of it in the cell, so also they are recessive. So, and for to be killer paramecium, two things needed. One, presence of kappa particles, and second, dominant allele K. Any of them absent organism, recessive. After the conjugation is completed, it produces two killer descendants. That means the trait of kill inherits through the cytoplasm. So this diagram, we can observe it. First look at the A part, killer and sensitive. As we remember from the chapter three, by conjugation, they reproduce sexually, change genetic material. And the end of reproduction, we can see both paramecia and become what? Killer, but with what? Hybrid genotype. By divisions or new kind of reproduction, when they gain the pure recessive trait, they lose their kappa particles, lose their kappa particles, cannot keep them and become sensitive. But the organism which have dominant allele, they keep their particles and they receive, they remain killer. In second case, again, killer and sensitive, they do conjugation, extend genes, but what we see, one of them remain killer and sensitive, does not change. So between these two cases, what is different is the duration of conjugation. So if there is enough time during exchanging genetic particles, this micronucleus between two organisms, if there is enough time, some amount of cytoplasm kappa particles move to the next organism, also become killer, but there is no enough time for passage of some cytoplasmic material, capital K cannot produce kappa particles, so it remain sensitive. So sensitive only form sensitive organisms, but which high dominant hybrid killer when become pure recessive loss, it's kappa particles, but dominant pure keep their kappa particles and remain killer. So in these two cases, why in one of them not change it into a killer, but second case, both of them become killer, is about the duration of conjugation if give enough time for passage of kappa particles through conjugation bridge. When a killer one conjugates with a sensitive one in suitable conditions, avoid the killing the sensitive one during reproduction, exchange of the nucleic material happens without exchange in the cytoplasm because the conjugation period is set short. Case B, 
and after the conjugation is completed. The sensitive one gives sensitive descent, which carries the dominant allele in the case of hybrid, but missing kappa particles. The killer one gives killer descent with carriers to the dominant allele and kappa particles. That means the trait of kill does not inherit through the nucleus. The produced descent from the killer one inherit kappa particles. Meanwhile, the descent of sensitive one does not inherit it because the exchange of cytoplasm does not happen. Yes, that's the key. Cytoplasmic exchange does not happen. Kappa particles cannot be transported. So only dominant K not enough to be killer. Another example for cytoplasmic inheriting animal is the effect of genotype for the mother to point out the side of spirit lamnia another example for cytoplasmic inheritance.